Welcome to the credits video for Let's Play God of War, also known as God of War 4, also known as God of War 2018. I'm Burning Dog Face, and it's finally over. It's finally done. Rest in peace, George Mal Malle. I didn't know there were lyrics to this music. What an incredible journey. I honestly had trouble, you know, vibing with this game at first. Because it didn't feel at all connected to the old God of War games. Only Kratos was a connection. And as I said at first, he didn't even feel like Kratos to me off the bat. And that didn't, you know, that got better over time. But, you know, there were moments when I would have to stop, you know, to turn the camera subtly so it focuses on the the, uh, the tattoo and babble about something while I remind myself that the man I'm controlling is Kratos of Sparta. appearing at the end, man. Are you telling me that Thor is the tutorial boss of the next game? Just throw you in at the deep end? My lozenge rapper says... March forward. And I intend to. But, you know, that feeling got better over time, but it didn't completely go away until the scene where Kratos got the Blades of Chaos out. It wasn't the fact that he was strapping the Blades of Chaos to his arms and using them as a weapon. It was the emotional gravitas Christopher Judge put into that scene. Just the guilt and the self-loathing just dripping off of this man. Just, oh, this is the Kratos I remember. The one who fucking despises himself more than anything else in creation. And yes, you know, once the, the the actually using the blades of chaos after that was just like the cherry on top. Just now that I feel it, okay, here's the weapon from that game, just to make me on you know to underline it. Because it really was a totally different game than the original. I mean, there were fucking stats in this one, for God's sake.
kind of wish I'd realized earlier than the final boss fight that, uh... Your numerical level literally has an effect on how much damage enemies do. My god, no wonder this thing won all the Game of the Year awards in 2018. Fuck, no wonder it won a Game of the Year award in 2022! I guess I play the waiting game. And I mentioned to you guys something I've been sitting on for this entire game, because this seems to be the, old, the best place to mention it. The re They, uh, only did two games this time was a mystery to me. You know, as opposed to three. Until someone mentioned to me that apparently... God of War Ragnarok is twice as long as God of War. They filled all nine realms with stuff to do. <laughs> I'm going to have to change my video process to make that possible, or we're going to have 350 videos and be here for six months. <laughs> and that's it with no interruptions at all. Like, I had to take two or three weeks off, and it, you know, this still stretched this out to four months. <sighs> the very... One of the very first things this game did was shock me and make me cry. And that was the moment I realized I really have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Because I will say this, God of War or the classic games were really good at making you feel like one with Kratos' rage. Made it feel like it was just until they didn't. But, uh... They never reached me with that depth of emotion. I were tears in my eyes. Even if I held it together in that uh, funeral scene. Just because I totally was not expecting to get completely you know, T-boned by emotions that soon. God, a God of War game with feels in it, man. I kind of didn't realize there were still people named Hogarth. Nice. Oh, God. Depending on how old that person is. Well, I was thinking, oh, it must be it's like a 70-year-old. Like oh, depending on how old that person is, maybe they were named after the one in, uh... After the Hogarth in The Iron Giant. Oh no. <laughs> Give a, sh a big hand to Matt Sofos, Richard Zengar, Galbert, and Corey Barlog. Like, really? That was an incredible story. And the characterization was spot on, too! Every character had a very distinct feeling to them. I just kind of wish there were more individual characters other than, you know, uh, Kratos and Atreus, Mimir, Freya, the dwarves, and a bunch of, uh, you know, generic ghost NPCs. Other than that, the only people we interacted with were cannibals, uh, Balder, and Magni and Modi. There's still so much to think about, you know? Like the prophecy of Kratos dying. I haven't heard anything, but I sure as hell hope Kratos survives the next game. I mean, if anyone can punch uh, Destiny hard enough to uh, avoid death, it would be Kratos. But, uh... Hey, we've already changed Destiny, remember? Magni and Modi were supposed to survive Ragnarok. I don't think... I think they said Balder wasn't supposed to uh, die for like a hundred years or so. His 
game was a gift from a friend of mine. Seiki. I was stoked at the time, but I really had no idea how much this game would mean to me. So truly, thank you, Seiki. From the bottom of my heart, for making this journey possible. Oh, there's Baldur's theme, I think. Like, you can even feel the manic, like, madness in the background of this music. That man was 20 pounds of crazy in a 10 pound bag. And I have a feeling in the next game we're going to meet, you know, we're going to find out either from Odin or Freya where he got it from. Yay! <laughs> You know, it always comes down to a question, do I recommend this game? And this time there are no, you know, if parts to it. It's just, yes, I recommend this game. Like, the only caveat I can think of is, if you hate, you know, uh, melee action games, you probably aren't going to have a good time here. But other than that, it's got a great story, it's got great gameplay, the graphics are amazing. So yes, absolutely. PS4, uh, PC, whatever. I recommend that if you like video games, if you like anything of what you've just seen, I recommend that you play God of War. Tell them Burning Dog Face sent you. God, I hope Ragnarok comes to PC. I'm gonna be so bummed if I can't bring it to my channel in any form. Maybe if I did uh, fewer, longer videos, like an hour long each, just to keep the numbering down. I don't know. I mean, I've, got, I've probably got years to work on. I did it four years for God of War to come to PC. And it was a console exclusive, so the bare minimum is probably one full year before they even announce other platforms. That was, what, November? So, uh, yeah, we've got a ways to go before, you know, even that. Unfortunately, at the moment, it kind of feels like, uh... Like we're gonna be waiting until 2026 for this. But, oh well. You know, if three years pass in real life, that's just, well, on the nose. I like that. I heard that the production took so long that, uh, the actor who played Atreus started going through puberty, and, uh, a bunch of his lines had to be pitch shifted up to, uh, match the earlier ones. Because his, uh, voice, uh, started breaking. I like to suggest that Kratos kept that armor and uh, such uh, for a full you know, for a few years. I loved this game, but I knew it was time to go. Sonny Suljic, that was the kid's name. That was 
Who's Nolan North? Also, additional voices. Organize a few of those names in there. I bet Fred Tadaschiore was doing that uh, troll talk we heard a while back. Shout out to Elthwar, who says trolls in Norse mythology were fully capable of speech, but uh, that seems unusual. Uh, it seems sort of unusual in a God of War game for a non-god, non-mortal enemy to speak. Then again, Kratos probably never cared too much about learning what his enemies unless it helped him kill them faster. That reminds me, I was thinking... Uh, uh, I thought for a bit there that Death Eater was a literal translation of the first troll boss's name. You know, Dowdy, whatever. So I had this idea in my head, oh, he craw crawled his way back out of hell as a hell troll in order to get vengeance on Kratos. But, you know, what was a, a, a tough fight the first time was effortless the second time because Kratos has been getting stronger this whole time. But no, no, the first boss's name translated to Death Merchant, not Death Eater, so whatever. It also mentioned uh, in the thing I saw that the Death Eater and the Grendels are uh, of the Stone tribe of uh, trolls. In fact, that beach with the Death Eater on it has a stone statue of a troll that mysteriously vanishes at exactly the same time Death Eater starts wandering around, as if he'd been in hibernation the entire time. And uh, apparently it is he, he, what actually triggers him to appear is killing the Grendels. You know, the st I'm mentioning the Stone Tribe thing, in case you were curious why he was, uh, you know, all crystalline and such. So I guess they weren't, you know, robots after all, the, uh, the Grendels. They were just stone. Maybe Hrungnir looked something like that. Oh, here we go. Thank you to every single person who worked on this game, both the original game and the PC board. Like, this is going right up there with, uh, Batman Arkham City and my list of favorite games. I wish I didn't feel so melancholy about leaving it behind, you know? This music does not help, admittedly. <laughs> and I can honestly say I didn't know any of those names. Oh, BB and I went to school together, though. That was a lie. <laughs> there to say. Well, if you'd really like to see more of Christopher Judge playing a former servant of a god who turned against him, uh, why not check out Stargate SG-1, where that is a surprisingly accurate description of the character he plays. <laughs> no kidding. First prime of the serpent god, Apophis. They do have lyrics that mean something. Hell yeah! I was stunned to find out the ancient Greek uh, in the background of the classic God of War games music all, all meant something. So a, trend, a, uh, a version of Kratos' theme 
uh, The End Begins that had uh, English subtitles translating what the Greek uh, language was. I wonder if someone's done that for these songs. It may not have been a quest to save the world, but goddamn if it didn't feel like it, you know? I mean, I was starting to get burned out towards the end, especially, you know, uh, throwing myself at that boss fight for seven straight hours. So I'm ready to see it go, it's just... I don't know, I got feels, eh? Nothing wrong with that at all. I was also told last night that when he first showed up to do the role, uh, Christopher Judge tried to do a, uh, a British accent he had had a voice coach uh, help him with. Because that's the way they did it in those uh, classic movies about Greek mythology. <laughs> Mind you, apparently when he first heard that it, when he first thought that it was a movie, he didn't take the offer very seriously because he assumed it was going to be like a $200 million adaptation of the game and that uh, they just inevitably give their role to Idris Elba or someone long before they uh, turn to him. Like they would end up optioning it to someone else before they gave him, you know, final confirmation. A lot of interesting stuff going on here. And he was proud of that stuff, too. You go to uh, Christopher Judge's uh, Twitter account, and his avatar is just a close-up of Kratos' eye. I think he won an like, outstanding performance by a voice actor last year for God of War Ragnarok. Although I gotta say, Sonny Suljic was also uh, nominated for the same award. So, uh, hey, I guess the sequel keeps up the, uh, the high, you know, the high quality mark. My timer has already gone. It's been more than uh, 20 minutes since the, uh, the credits started. I really hope it didn't loop around and I wasn't paying attention. I mean, the music's still going. The music isn't repeating. All I know is I haven't seen any names that uh, I recognize more than once. Or any, like, titles, rather. I don't know why I said names. Technically, I did see a name I recognized more than once. Nolan North is in there twice, remember? I'd like to thank you guys for coming along, Burning Dog fans. Having you there to support me meant everything. Especially when I lost all my progress a third of the way into the story and had to start over off-camera. Like, you believing in me kept me going, kept me from giving up. And that means everything to me. So, you know, thank you for the, 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 you know, the encouragement for the little fun bits of mythology and commentary on how different it is from this story. You know, thank you for uh, giving me advice. Thank you for uh, pointing out things I missed. And thank you for everything, Burning Dog fans. Thank you for coming with me on this journey. The same way that I came with uh, Kratos and Atreus. I did note that it said years later, but used the same model for Atreus. Let's be honest, if it's three years later, I don't think that armor would even fit him anymore. <laughs> Not at that age. Ha! 
Highlander is a cool nickname. Well done, Sean Penny. If we're getting into Q&A stuff, that's probably fairly low down the list. something picked out for next. It's a bit uh, more straightforward than this. Mind you, most of the things I play are more straightforward than this. It's one of the biggest open world games I've played. It doesn't even have cars in it. You guys can even hear me clearly. The music's usually pretty loud. Sorry if not. I just got some babbling in the uh, in the quiet to myself then. I wonder if this will change the title screen. I mean, if anything could. I think the most epic thing that happened in uh, my mind was the fight with Roslayer. Just because it came out of fucking nowhere like that, and it was this giant monster in the style of the classic games. That really helped, uh, you know, weaken the feeling that this wasn't Kratos, by the way. Like, a lot. Dang it. I was kind of hoping that would uh, just be silent and it would trail off the last few ones. <laughs> First Laws Ninja I had today, the uh, rapper said, don't wait to get started, and I'm glad I took that advice. <laughs>
know, I thought about doing this last night, just to so I could say that it was done. Kind of glad I didn't do that, now that I see how long the credits were. Yeah, plus I wouldn't have, uh, gotten all those toys, I think. I just find it funny that one of the ones I didn't get was right in front of the house. Like, I could have gotten that even when the gates to the forest were closed. I still don't quite understand why they blocked that one off for so long. I'm not certain, but I think the bridge from Jotunheim showed up in that vision in the light of Alfheim. I think that was where uh, Kratos was about to run into the spirit of Fae before he got pulled out. Say Vita? Is that not a saying? I didn't think that was a name. It's like embrace life or something. I did think it was kind of funny that it went so abruptly from Kratos finally lying down and resting after all that to uh, years later. <laughs> Especially since it was just him lying in the same bed. Wait, he never took the Blades of Chaos off. He just went to bed with those on his back. I hope he took uh, Mimir off. Oh, that's weird. See, when I talked about this happening and the music ending, I figured that it would be like one more screen's worth of names and it would fade to, uh, black. I kind of didn't think the music would end and the video would just keep going. Oh yes, representatives of the By and Large Corporation.
I'm seeing a lot of names with spaces that they probably shouldn't be. Which is interesting, because uh, there were very few typos in the actual game. Mostly a few quests where I felt there was uh, no space after a period where there should be. That was kind of hard to tell, because, you know, sometimes it's... That you put different amounts of space between different letters in some fonts and such. Email marketing specialist! Okay, fine. I thought that was a bit weird. Do they still advertise stuff by just randomly mailing people? Like, buy God of War. Here's a bunch of review quotes. Come on, stop giving me new headings! It's just, you know, I don't have an enormous amount of stuff left to talk about. Because I've been talking about this game for like 150 hours at this point. Maybe I'll do some PlayStation 2 emulation. Go back to the beginning and uh, pick up there. I had been pondering that idea to play some of the older Spyro games. No reason I couldn't work for God of War. I mean, they don't have nearly the emotional depth of uh, this one. But, you know, it might be fun. To be perfectly honest, I, never, I did think sometimes about, uh, like not o as often as I thought about other thing, other franchises, but I did think about bringing uh, God of War to my channel, you know, until 2018, when it, or until, until they announced it was coming to PC, you know, and I thought, oh fuck, this will actually happen. But in all those times, I was in fact thinking of God of War 1, 2, and 3, not uh, starting at 4. <laughs> not that I'm sorry about this. Had a good time with it. Oh, there we go. Or is this just gonna quit? I still need to do, you know, a final outro. Is this going to quit or bring me back to the menu? I don't know. I guess I'm just tense. And there it goes. Oh. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimba Winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come.
My mirror was oddly silent there. Goodbye. Oh, I guess I should, huh? That feels appropriate somehow. I saw I actually saw that loading screen tape a bunch of times, but I didn't think it was possible. You know, to get something substantially better than a several times upgraded uh Muspelheim armor. Joke's on me, I guess. Okay. That will absolutely do it. That will bring us to the end. There's just one thing left for me to do. I'm burning dog face. And on behalf of myself, Kratos, Atreus, Mimir, and everyone who helped them along their way, like Brock and Sindri, the Holdra brothers, and even Freya, and Jormungandr, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining me for Let's Play God of War. I hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride. I hope you've enjoyed this game as much as I have. I hope to see you someday when uh, I return to Midgard for God of War Ragnarok. Or, you know, if I come back to the uh, franchise in another way before that. And I hope to see you on my next video series, whatever that might be. Until then, have yourselves a fantastic day, Burning Dog fans. Later! <laughs>